you are watching 16 Patriots fan. Hello, we're here with a Fallout 4 video and I'm going to show you how to get combat armor and combat rifles at any level. Like, yeah, in 45 rounds and we'll be going east uh, the Parkin State in St. Sound, which is over here. We'll see you there and I know my videos on this, but I want to do a video on this. <laughs> okay, well, I'll see you there. Okay, we're here at the Parts of Insane Sound, and you see those mercenaries? Yeah, you want to go kill them. It'll count as a murder, and even Edward Deegan will get mad and talk to him for the first, first time, but who cares? And if you're doing this at like level 2 or something, you want to turn the difficulty down very easy. Otherwise they'll kill you very quickly with the combat rifles. And this is a good place because normally the combat rifles won't be randomly spawning until level 13 and combat armor doesn't normally spawn until level 19 in most circumstances but there are a few places you can get them like this place right here. and. They only require level 2 to get the polymer, while the, the heavy armor requires level 4 on the armor perk. For the heavy helmet armor, you want to go either the Hub City Auto Records for Captain Bridget or the Quincy Ruins for the Baker. The Hub City Auto Records is easier because it's less. Gunners, but still rather difficult because the fat man Bridget carries and one of those soldiers carry a as well as an assault Tehran that can carry a laser almost instantly. And the heavy armor doesn't always spawn like level 40. And You'll be having a very good start there. And this is also a good place for 45 rounds if you're running out. So, keep that in mind. Well, if you want to respawn these guys, you just fast travel to the other side of the map. And that's the end of the video. This is 16 Patriots Fan. Like, comment, subscribe. Click the bell for some notifications. Share the video if you liked it. We're on the road to 250 subscribers. And we'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.